Hey, what's up YouTube? This is Brew Dude coming at you with another brew review. Today I'm coming at you with Ale, brewed by Ocho Reales in Mexico. If it is brewed in the US, it is brewed by Sierra Madre Brewing Company. So if you guys remember, I did Pilsner by Ocho Reales, which is now in the top five. All right guys, and the reason why I'm pointing it out is because Ocho Reales is not on Barnivore.com. If you look for uh, Sierra Madre Brewing Company or Ocho Reales, um, they do not appear on Barnivore.com. Unfortunately, I cannot leave a link to the description, but um, as I mentioned before, um, Ocho Reales abides by the German purity laws of 1516, also known as the Bavarian Reinheitsgebot. Uh, basically means, uh, well, it meant before, it was, uh, the only ingredients you were allowed to use was mal malted barley, water, and hops. They've now included yeast since they understand it a little more, well, since they fully understand it now. Alright guys, so on to reviewing the packaging. The packaging is basically the same as Pilsner, it's showing consistency. Um, it has like an amber, reddish type of color. Um, it says Cerveza Artesanal, basically means 100% craft beer. Um, the brewing uh, company Ocho Reales lets you know what kind of beer it is. L uh, shows you it's 100% malt, 5% alcohol by volume. That, um, I absolutely love that shit when, when uh, companies do that. It lets you know who they are, what they are, what kind of beer they're brewing, and it gives a little bit of a description of what they are and who they are. Um, on the side, it lets you know uh, the instance of Ocho Reales, the name, and how they abide by the uh, German purity law exceptional for me um, that takes a spank if you guys want to see the bottle it's basically the same basically the same uh, for me it takes a spank once again it shows the uh, Ocho Reales uh, logo uh, L what kind of beer it is it has a hundred percent mall gives you a description uh, it's five point uh, sorry it's five percent alcohol by volume um, just so you know, I usually always mention this, but this is um, 5.0 to 5.5 is usually what all beers are here in America, or well, mainstream beers are here in America. All right guys, so let's go ahead and um, review the taste, the smell, the look, and the body. All right, so let's check it out guys. I'm not even sure if I mentioned earlier, um, it's supposed to be something like an American L or like a red L. Oh, that's a nice pour. And it is red, it is darker, it's on the darker side. You can, you can see the shadows of your fingers, you can't really see through. It's not bad. Um, it has something like a, a brownish, whitish uh, head. It smells super malty. It smells really malty. You can't really smell hops at all. It's not a bad thing, but it's, it's not a great thing, at least for me. It's definitely light body, but oh, it's really malty. Oh, that's good. I would have loved to taste a little bit of hops. Just to give it a little bit more bitterness. The bitterness is actually coming more from the malt. But it stays true. I'm, I'm pretty sure, I'm almost sure they use rye malt because it has that spiciness to it. Oh yeah, but in terms of, of taste, um, it's a light beer. It's good, malty, a little bit spice. Um, I don't know what beer I can compare it to. It's basically a better tasting new castle. Um, so FYI, Newcastle is not vegan. Um, this is not like those, well, I mean, it's, it's similar. Um, it's similar to those like uh, UK uh, brown ales, red ales, which is why I'm comparing it to it. This is tastier, it's more refreshing, it's more crispy. All right, guys, so I'm going to be back and then we'll check out the buzzability with this beer. Let's go ahead and check it out. I'll be back. All right, guys, so we're back with the buzzability for the brew. Ocho Reales L, which should be amber or red L. 
Um, I did drink in about an hour. Um, it's an all right buzz. I really didn't get as buzzed as I should. I know earlier I didn't give you guys um, a, um, I didn't give you guys a score whether it would be in the top five or whether it would not be in the top five. I'm gonna give you guys in terms of flavor. To me, it does take a spank. The problem is, who are we going to take out? Are we taking out Purple Haze? Are we taking out Turbo Dog? Are we taking out the Patsy? I'm sorry, are we taking out Amber? Are we taking out the Patsy? Or are we taking out uh, Lager Clara or Pilsner Bio Travels as well? And my thing is, after I finish this beer. Alright guys, unfortunately Amber by a Beetle Brewing Company is not making the cut. We do have a new top 5. Um, in no particular order, we have Purple Haze from a Beetle Brewing Company, Turbo Dog from a Beetle Brewing Company. Now we have Eo by Ocho Reales, we have the Patsy from Barley Forge, and we have Lager Clara aka Pilsner from Ocho Reales. Um, so as I said before, this is going to get a lot more serious now. Um, I am a fan of Amber, unfortunately. In terms of that should just fall off, it really did. In terms of flavor, they were very similar. I just seem to prefer the L by um, Ocho Reales. In terms of possibility, I'm not sure if I mentioned it earlier. Um, it's a good, it's a good buzz. It's all right. It's not. It's nothing out of this world. I keep mentioning mainstream beer here in America is from 5.0 to 5.5. Rarely is it 6.0 alcohol by volume. Either way, um, this, uh, wait, not, not Amber, I'm sorry. Um, Ocho Rales takes this bag. It's within the top five now. You guys will get a close look later. So I just wanna let you guys know in the future, I probably will be holding a different segment. It's called Brew Interview. Uh, I will be interviewing interesting people that I know um, that are available to me, that I'm able to speak with. Uh, share a brew with them and um, you know hope, hopefully you guys are interested in that conversation uh, for example I have one of my friends who is an up-and-coming chef uh, he started as a dishwasher went to culinary school worked as a line cook um, unfortunately he was rejected recently to be a sous chef at a restaurant but guy is not giving up he's younger than me so he has a bright future ahead of him um, I have my brother who is a preschool teacher, which is beautiful. Um, one of my cousins is a um, economics major. Um, he is the first college graduate from his family. His parents are immigrants, so I think that would be an interesting interview. I have a bunch of friends who are bartenders, female bartenders. I would want to know what are the struggles, what are the stigmas that they go through, what are the things that they have to overcome, you know? Is that their primary source of income? We don't know. We'll check it out. If you guys want to look into it, guys, our top five right now is we have Purple Haze, Turbo Dog, L, The Patsy, and Pilsner. Don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and remember, in the future, we will be coming up with better things. Anyway, good day for today. Have a great rest of your day. Have a blessed day. Don't forget to like and subscribe.